here, buddy. Um, I got me a new used boat. I like it. It's a 1984 Duracraft, all aluminum well, 16 foot. <clears throat> it's got a 85 Yamaha on the back. Uh, this is my first real boat with a motor. I'm pretty stoked about that. All right, so let me tell you a little bit about what I got going on here. I got this boat from my nephew. He was uh, looking to get rid of it, wanting something different. And uh, I picked it up and, uh, you know, doing what any guy would do, sit out in your boat and play around. I was flipping switches and all kind of stuff the other night and started noticing that uh, not everything's up to par. And the switch panel was really uh, dry rotted, worn out, and whatever you call it, uh, toasted by the sun. So I decided to go ahead and put a new uh, switch panel in and um, I decided to go ahead and uh, rewire everything as well. So uh, I already did all of that and uh, I wish I would have filmed it first but I wasn't really thinking about YouTube so uh, I've already wired all the lights in the boat but uh, I'll give you a little rundown of what I did. Okay well here is the switch panel that I put in. It is a four gang uh, switch with um, cigarette lighter plug in and two dual, uh, dual USB uh, ports because we all got to have our cell phones with us nowadays to do all this filming, right? This is where the original one went and it just, it was all busted up and just basically fell apart to a bunch of pieces so I had to go ahead and cut a hole over there really wasn't happy about cutting a new hole in the boat but this boat's got a lot of holes in it already so just more stuff for me to work on in the future I originally wired it in a way that I, I didn't like so um, I took all that apart and I went and got these two terminal buses and uh, decided to do everything on a bus system so I got a, a negative run into the switch two positives run into the switch and then everything from there just jumps off of these terminals and you see down below there there's the uh, bilge pump and the aerator and they go straight to the bus and then a uh, leader goes to the switches up front. Um, that red thing over there is a dual battery disconnect. I plan on sticking on the wall right over there somewhere. And I'm going to run some leads from these batteries uh, right back here and um, power up that and that way I can discharge, uh, well not discharge, but turn my batteries off. That way I don't have any uh, thing just robbing juice from the batteries for no reason. So here's the front live well and um, I did not like the way the lid was. The lid was actually reversed here. This lid was spun around the other way and uh, I, I turned it around because in the future, in the very soon future, uh, I'm going to be adding a deck here and I'm going to extend this deck all the way to the front of that live well. And it's going to go down this from this bottom floor here up to the de deck is going to be 14 inches. So I'm going to have to put a little step across this bottom area right here. But it's going to make a really nice, really full size deck once that's done and you know over with. These wires here uh, are for the future deck lights. Uh, two little lights are going to be right here for the steps, and uh, the the other two lights are going to be blue lights that run the length. Watch what I'm doing here. That run the length of this here on either side. For, uh, for night beautifications, I guess you could say. The other live well is located between the two front seats right here. And there's also a seat that snaps on the disc, but you know, it's a fairly good sized live well. It's not, it's not that small. So it's, it's got a lot of work I gotta get done to get it to my, my liking, but uh, it's, a, it's a boat that I've never had, you know? So I'm really, really, truly excited for this. Well, guys, I hope y'all stay tuned, and uh, hopefully in the next coming weeks, I'll try to start. Uh, I'm new to YouTube, so I'll be trying to start making myself film and getting used to talking to nobody on the other end of this camera for a while, and uh, it'll all come after a while, but um, learn how to edit some videos and get all that going, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, I can't say right now I'm going to be putting a video up every week, but uh, I'll try to put videos up as, as soon as I can, and Hopefully this channel will grow, and uh, if it doesn't, it's not a big deal. I'm still gonna go fishing on the Sunday, on the on the Saturday morning. So we'll see y'all next time. Thanks.